Here we are at the art box, right in the Stutz area. This ought to be a pretty good show, I'm hoping. Karen Lamb, artist and artist representative for the Stutz Studios. first impression as I first walk around this exhibition is how much of an artifact quality the paintings of Mark Pack and the sculptures of Max Stolkin have. It's really nice to see two different kinds of art that fit so nicely together in a show and really belong together. Here's Mark Pack at the art box. The artist who has the really nice show going on in here with the art. Acrylics on wood and acrylics on paper. Hello, say hi. Hi. Did you like the show? Yes, it's good. <laughs> Mark is an artist that has a studio in the uh, Stutz building. So tell me, Mark, what's your inspiration for your the work you got in here? Uh, my uh, my inspiration comes from things in nature, like rocks and, and butterfly wings, and uh, I'm uh, creating these paintings that are sort of there, acrylic an acrylic paint with many many layers of acrylic, and I I carve back into them with an exacto blade and and I sand them and work back into them and and uh, sort of creating these objects that that relate to nature. So you uh, in your acrylic, you're mixing up a lot of colors and building layer and layer, and then actually carving back into it. Then yes, uh huh. And you like doing it on wood for most of the pieces on the wall, but I've also seen you've got several that are on handmade paper. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I, sometimes I make a hand paper, handmade paper base to just sort of make these put these acrylic pieces on too. So so it's, it's sort of to make more sculptural objects. How did you come up with? layering your acrylics the way you have. I think mostly what I'm doing is I'm taking abstract expressionism and I'm re sort of reinterpreting it in a way and like showing that there's a there's a kind of uh, realistic quality that that uh, abstract expressionists were actually interpreting within the world you know like sort of taking those elements that exist in abstract expressionism but but showing that showing that those elements exist in the world around us. Mark gets a chance to talk to one of his fans. She must have looked at every single tiny piece on this wall of art because she did tell me about uh, seeing some deep possible meaning in one of the little pieces and I'm sure she's talking to Mark about it. Unfortunately, Max Stolkin doesn't seem to be around right now to talk to, but he does write about his uh, work using materials to express their own identity. Uh, he tries to attempt to capture a pure emotional gesture, and I must say that uh, the attitude and the 
angles and the expressions that he does use on his forms and faces. It seems like the skin is just being ripped right off. That the body really doesn't matter so much as the purely emotional context inside.